Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, appreciate you stopping by. So I'm just doing another quick uh, vlog. I had a lesson yesterday, a golf lesson. You might have seen it. If you haven't, um, really encourage you have a quick look at it. Um, so I'm going to take a bit of a quick lunch uh, break from work today. Um, I'm lucky enough that I live um, pretty close to my home course, which is Paris Court Golf Club here in uh, Ireland in Dublin. Um, so or just outside Dublin, I should say. So. I'm just going down to play four holes for lunch, uh, get out, get a bit of air, um, and just work on some of the things I was working on in the lesson yesterday. So, really looking forward to just playing four holes. Um, weather's not great here, it's a bit overcast. Uh, it is meant to be June, summer, but <laughs> we've no sun yet. Um, but really just going to work on what I was working on with my with um, David Lewis yesterday, who's the, the guy I go for my lessons, the, the, the head pro and down in Blaine Road Golf Club. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd be interested just to film, just to see, I suppose, um, show you guys what I do after I get a lesson. I don't go to the range at all really anymore. Um, a combination of, I don't think hitting 100 of balls works, just trying, you know, you have to be very um, disciplined about, you know, when you're working on stuff in the range, because the temptation is always there just to hit ball after ball. Um, and plus the fact just physically, you know, in terms of, I don't think those uh, mats, on a concrete floor hitting 200 balls at a time is good for your body in actual fact i know it's not from personal experience so uh i uh, i don't go to the range um very much if at all uh, anymore so i prefer i much prefer to play rather than practice and try and work into my pra my play stuff that i'm working on so with that said um yeah just on my way down to the course I i'll see you back at when I arrive, um, actually, whilst you're whilst you're there, um, I'm wearing um, as hopefully you can see um, a Druids Golf uh, top. Uh, got it customized with the the old uh, Golf Jedi logo on it, which uh, is pretty cool service they provide uh, embroidery as well as part of your order. Um, tops are quality from Druids, so I really like them. Um, I need to order some more actually because their uh, new summer range is coming out so I'd encourage you to look at their website Druids Golf again I'm, I'm not affiliated to them anyway uh, other than the fact that I think they're great value and great products or if you go to my website which arguably would be even better and um, which is tggolf.com so it's the abbreviated the golf jedi.com tggolf.com there's a button on the top of the uh, the homepage that says Druids Ambassadors Pack. If you click that button, it'll bring you straight to the Druids website where you can order some of their great uh, Ambassador Pack for like 99 euros, two tops and two uh, polo shirts for 99 quid, which uh, I think is just great value. Um, and again, that's not a shameless plug or a paid for advertisement. It's just me telling you guys what I find great value, um, which it's hard to see when you're looking at YouTube channels because most people are you know either sponsored or paid or sent something free um, anytime I recommend something on my channel um, or review something like sneakers or shoes or any golf equipment or technology I've bought it all myself and um, so um, it just so happens so far most of the reviews I've done have been quite positive but again as I said um, you know if I do have something on reviewed you can rest assured a I pay for it myself and B it's going to be an honest review for what it's worth so uh, yeah with that said um, as well sorry by the way before I forget you can also uh, follow me and connect me on Instagram so it's the golf Jedi so it's the underscore golf underscore Jedi uh, on Instagram um, really uh, really like that platform for sharing stuff that I'm doing so again if you're if you're an Instagram user and you want to connect with me there please feel free to uh, to reach out to me there so um, yeah see what we can do on the course later on and then um, see you when I get up there when you come into Paris course so this is a uh, just coming up the driveway to Paris Court here, some home club. So you've got the east course here on my right. You can't really see it because I'm in the car, obviously. But uh, yeah, at least you get a sense. And then on the left, you can see the, the valley. Um, hopefully that's coming through on camera. You can see the lovely uh, valley, uh, the, the mountains. There's uh, the Slazinger Estate over there, which you probably can't see on this uh, this clip. And then we just come down to the the actual uh, I suppose the main drive so again the, the east is, the east course is still on my right and um, as we come down then we've got um, we've actually got the Paris Court Hotel which is down on the left which is a nice kind of like a, I think it's a five-star hotel actually I'm not too sure um, really nice location there's a spa there and stuff like that so a uh, nice little drive as you can see it's a pretty popular 
spot for walkers and stuff like that during the summer and people coming up to visit the Paris Court Estate and the Japanese gardens and so it's a gorgeous area really lucky to be able to say I play my golf here um, and like I said I don't take that type of thing for granted it's, especially now after you know lockdown easing up a little bit it's uh, it's nice to be able to come up and play in such a nice surrounding so here's uh, we're coming up to the club here on the right so I'm just gonna take my time and come in and here you see so this is the this is the drive into the clubhouse and then we're into the, the parking lot area so uh, pretty busy actually which is good to see plenty of signage out about covid social distancing all very responsible so yeah here we go so it's good to uh get out. didn't realize it was so windy today actually so it's actually going to start raining now by the looks of it as well. Typical. So I'll just go in and check in, see if I can get out for a couple of holes. I'm booked in, but I want to get out a bit earlier just for four holes. So, guys, the pro shop very kindly helped me out and got me a. Uh, just let me out a little bit early on the west course. I'm working at feeling from yesterday's lesson. Out to out swing. Right up the pier of where I wanted it to. No, okay. So we're on the green. I'm still very happy with this. But again, I maybe could have been more aggressive and swung harder at the ball. So let me show you what I mean. So there we are. So I've got a pretty long, pretty tricky putt. But it's a birdie putt and two putt for a par for a score. So let's see how we go. Yeah, I didn't, didn't read it well, but the pace is good. Seven, nice holes of par three, it's on the west course here, uh, down the hill. This can be tricky hole uh, given the, where the wind is playing and where the tees are <clears throat> so again thought process is out and then out okay and the wind's going to be a factor here as well so point aim a bit left so guys um hit the seven iron off the the tee there broke my own rule for practice I didn't tee it up but uh, my golf coach said that uh, tea, when you're practicing you shouldn't tee it up to help with your iron contact and to be honest 7 iron 173 yards wind wasn't helping slightly downhill granted um, I'm very very happy with the result so if I turn the camera around you can see I'm literally pin high I thought the wind was going to bring it in two minds whether to chip or put this but I'll try and put it and see how it goes It'll be fast once it gets through the rough. Oh, not that. That's not good. I didn't. I didn't read it again. This is the problem with uh, video. And you don't take the time to read your books. I'm gonna start doing that. I can edit the video. I got my three anyway. Much harder work of it than I should have. 
So two more holes. Absolutely middle. Out of the club face. Down the middle of the fairway into in. Really happy with that. Okay. Out. Out. Oh, I just slided a bit of it, did I? But the sign is best. Actually, that's really good. That's really good. I thought I might have left that out a bit to the right, but it actually it drew in for me. So yeah, on the green, put for birdie. So probably could have hit that either a bit firmer or taken a nine iron and just guided it in a bit. But still, I'm on the green, put for birdie. Hopefully, I can make a better job of it first. And put a little bit more than I like I'd expect to. Second birdie putt. Third birdie putt of the day, actually. <laughs> now that I think of it. That's better. Still didn't read, it didn't give enough break. Yeah, back to back pars with a uh, much trickier par puts on a wood of light, but again, happy with that. I'll tell you what, that could be cool. Made it this far in the video. Um, really appreciate you stopping by. Um, like as I said, I'm still finding my feet in terms of content. Um, so it, like as I said, um, I'm hoping to be able to improve, improve the quality as well as the, um, I suppose the, the different courses that I can vlog on and stuff like that for the time being. Obviously with lockdown and all of that malarkey, um, it's gonna be specifically, probably more than likely um, my home course here in Paris Court for the next month or so. Um, but again, with that said, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've liked the video, please um, please, uh, please try and give it a thumbs up. Um, even consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.